Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here today. I uh, I have got to get these uh, get this battery in the bus today, and uh, get some lights on in here. There we go. There we go. You lift up the bed, get this in here. I got to get the other three out of the. Uh, out of the enclosed trailer so I'll have some more room in there and uh, bear with me a minute let me lift this mattress up it's amazing just how fast stuff can accumulate inside your RV my sink turns into a catch-all and uh, I'm gonna put the batteries right here that's this this area right here I had it built specifically for the uh, the three red batteries that are now in the camper van and uh, so it's been kind of doing double duty as a place for shoes and my backup CPAP machine. I have to, I have severe sleep apnea and uh, I have to have a CPAP. And uh, I plan on doing a video soon on how to run a CPAP in an RV. But you guys hang on, I got to go get this thing out of the enclosed trailer. And I have been dreading picking it up. But uh, hold on just a minute and let's get this going. Okay, now we got the, uh, I got the stuff out. This is my battery location. And I just happened to find my old box for my inverter. Now I've got a Xantrax right here. 3000 watt inverter. It's fantastic. But um, it's not necessary. The, uh, the power just to keep it on eats up some battery, something fierce. Um, I guess if you had a big enough solar system, you wouldn't notice it, but I do. And so I put the little uh, shoemaker, I mounted it here. Got a piece of black tape to hide my green light from the outside. And uh, by golly, I, I did try to run the fridge on it once and I blew a fuse. So to run the fridge, I do need the uh, the Xantrex, but um, I just I just hook it up and it runs my CPAP and uh, anything else I need in there. You know, really truly, that's all that I need is the CPAP machine. This is my cutoff switch. It cuts all my 12 volt off for the uh, for the shuttle bus. Kind of a nice feature that way. I, I don't leave anything on, but. Uh, Here's the spot where it goes. Oh yeah, the inverter. I didn't expect much from this thing, honestly. I said, well, for fifty dollars, what's it going to hurt? All right, there's my wires. Shoemaker. This little thing just runs and runs and runs and runs. And uh, here's the cigarette adapter cord, cigarette uh, lighter. You can run it with it if you want. Of course, it's not too good an idea to do that because you can strand yourself and not have a starting battery. But uh, by golly, it's probably one of the best investments I've uh, I've spent on camping. Okay, I'm stalling because I don't want to pick this battery up. All right, let me go get it. Isn't it a shame that you have to lock everything up? One of the main reasons I got the enclosed trailer, people stealing stuff off my my other trailer here. And uh, I got this cable run through my wheel here. Usually I run it through both wheels and uh, keep somebody from pulling it out of my yard. The man across the street actually had a truck stolen out of his garage. So, uh, all right, let's get this thing open. Maymay, you gonna help help me pick it up? I need happily houseless. That's what I need.
Well, there's one. Looks like I may have room for both of them, or two of them, though. I got to get my tape out. But I have to think about this as well. It's carrying around all this extra weight. If I'm not using the battery power that I've got, you know, is it wise to add an extra 100 pounds to my truck? But if I have a power outage or whatever, I can just back my truck up right to the house and plug into my 3,000 watt inverter and I can run a lot of different things for longer. Let me get the tape out and see what we got. All right, this battery is six and, must as well say six and three quarters. Five, a little over five and three quarters. Maybe if this piece of wood were gone here. It's not an inch thick though. It's not going to make a difference. Looks like I just get to keep one in here. It'd be too much trouble to move the rest of the wall. I'll have to build me something in here to wedge it. All right, got both connectors on. I got to figure me out a way to wedge this. Here's my mountain house freeze dried food storage. Empty toilet paper roll. That's pleasant. Let's see if I can find something to temporarily wedge this. Looks like my spare CPAP machine is going to work out just perfect. Until I get a piece of wood cut and put in here on the bottom to hold it. Now I'm going to tighten up the screws and let's check the uh, controller panel to see how many volts are in this battery. Okay, the battery is tightened down. Snug down. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Ta-da! Like it never even was there, right, Mimi? Let's see. Here on our panel, what we got. Okay. The Trojans on the frame. 14.1. Hit it again. Battery bank two, that's the one under the bed. 12.83, and I just put it in. So, uh, yellow, yellow light showing that it's lower than the others. But 12.8 uh, is full. And I guess it'll get the voltage on up there. Yep. Let's see. Yep, 12.83. I'll check it later on in the day, maybe on the next video, and we'll see what the voltage is up to. But like I said, I can't, I can't say enough about this little Shoemaker inverter. You guys get one. I think you'll be happy with it. And guess what? If it breaks, uh, take it back to Walmart. Get your money back. Get you another one. If it lasts a year, just go buy another one. Isn't it worth 50 bucks to have power? All right, girls, say bye, YouTube. Say bye, YouTube. Look at my chair over there. You know, it just wasn't but about a month ago. It was just a little bitty nick. And I think somebody's been bored while I've been working in the RV. And now i got to replace my chair, you ding-dongs. But I love you. Okay, YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get some more stuff out to you soon. I've got a lot more ideas for videos, and I can't wait to film them. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.